Hey guys, we're Monster Video, and today I'm going to be doing the story of the SS Cheviot. This is a fictional ship. It's a ship from Roblox, actually. Um, the game that um, the ship is in is really cool. Basically, it's a ship called the SS Cheviot, and it um, is going through the North Atlantic Ocean in a nice field where it hits um, some, some rocks and sinks in a few minutes. So it's actually a really cool game. I recommend it. It's called uh, SS Cheviot Sinking Simulation, I think. And uh, yeah. Um, I just felt, eh, I'm gonna make a story for it. So I'm gonna be reading off the PowerPoints over here, so I'm not gonna be looking at the camera. You guys know this from the uh, Titanic Features series, but yeah, here we go. That's a Cheviot by me. History. Building. Yes, the Chevy was ordered by the Dominion Line in 1903 to be the leading ship in their Liverpool to New York route. Her keel was laid down on May 2nd, 1904. She was launched on January 4th, 1905, and was completed on February 8th, 1905. Service. After she was built, she served her route for two years and proved very popular. Then disaster struck on December 18th, 1907. So that's the first one. And the general characteristics of the ship. Um, the ship may be a little, like, unrealistic, but um, I try to make it as realistic as possible. Um, and also, um, I added a few things, um, into the PowerPoint that are not actually on the ship in the game. Like, I added bathrooms, and I added a, like, engine room and boiler rooms and cargo hold and everything. I also added some, like, other few things. But yeah, um, it's just little small things that don't really change the entire thing in the ship. So here we go. General characteristics. Tonnage, 2,456 grosser tons. Length, 89 feet. Propulsion, a single reciprocating engine powering a single screw and also four sails. Capacity, 30. Uh, capacity, 30. 15 crew and 15 passengers. Classes, first class and crew. Service speed of 12 knots. Lifeboats, four, lifeboats as four lifeboats, two collapsible and two standard. And then lifeboat capacity is 30. Collapsible lifeboats can hold five each and standard can hold 10 each. They're located just forward of the bridge. They use well in davits, and they're also um, stacked on top of each other. Uh, passenger facilities. is the passenger uh, amenities and facilities on board the ship. Uh, promenade. Due to the ship only having one class, first class passengers were allowed anywhere in the ship except crew areas. This area included a promenade spanning the entire length of the boat deck. The promenade included four deck chairs and two tables toward the end of the stern, toward the located at the stern. General activities area. So we're in the hull now. Uh, just as you come down the staircase that leads into the hull, you find the general activities area. This area has four chairs and tables for passen where passengers can drink tea, read, write, or just talk. Cabins. Behind the, pas the, behind the general activities area is the passenger cabins. There are four cabins. Three of the cabins have two bunk beds and a table. One cabin has one bunk bed and a standard bed to, amenitate, to um, accommodate 15 passengers. Lounge. Behind the cabins, the lounge includes bookshelves, chairs, and tables. The lounge can be used for reading, drinking tea, or just relaxing and, and talking. The lounge can also hold one bathroom, the only, the one and only bathroom for passengers in the ship. There's not a lot of room on board the ship. I mean, it's 89 feet long, so they have to, like, do what they can. Um, plus, there's only 15 passengers, so one bathroom is really all they need. Uh, dining room. The dining room is located just behind the lounge and included four, four, um, three four-seating tables toward the end of the room and two two-seating tables in the front of the room. In the back of the room is the small room, which is the kitchen. Crew. So this is um, what the crew is made up of. You have um, the passenger tenders side of the crew, um, where you have two stewards, two chefs, and a waiter. So the waiter, of course, and the waiter and chefs are in the dining room, and the stewards just bring passengers what they need or everything, just, eh, just passenger stuff. The deck crew. So here's um, the deck crew. You have two officers. You have the captain and the, sh and the chief officer. So there's no first officer, no second officer, none of that. It's just chief officer and captain. And two quartermasters. Below deck crew. Um, so this is below the waterline. Like all those engine room workers and everything. Uh, I have two firemen, two engineers, and two engine room workers. Crew areas. Um, so these are the crew amenities. Crew areas on board the ship. Uh, bridge. Located just forward of the ship's one and only funnel is the bridge. The bridge is a raised platform with two staircases leading up to it. It has a metal frame on top of it to allow a tarp to be laid to block out any snow or rain that might fall on the bridge. Uh, in the bridge itself is two telegraphs and a wheel. Cargo hold. At the, front, at the very front of the ship below the waterline is the cargo hold. Here's where all the ship's cargo is held during the voyage. Crew cabins. They're directly behind the cargo hold are the crew cabins. They're the same as the passenger cabins. And the crew bathrooms are right behind the crew cabins. Boiler room one. Boiler room one is right behind the crew cabins, um, the crew bathrooms, and has one single-ended boiler. Boiler room two is the same as number one. So each boiler has one fireman to work on it. A pump room. Beyond the boiler rooms is the pump room used to pump out water. Electric room. Beyond the pump room is the electric room. This room provides power to the ship. 
reciprocating engine room. This room houses the reciplicating engine that gives power to the ship's single propeller. And now the sinking. Here we go. All right. During the sinking, at 9 at 9.26 p.m. on December 18th, 1907, the SS Chevy was doing a return trip from New York when she struck an iceberg only 41 miles from where, from where Titanic would sink five years later. So instead of it hitting rocks, because it's in the middle of the ocean, how is there a massive pillar of rocks that goes to the surface? Nah. So I just said iceberg. Um... Where Titanic would sink five years later. She began to sink. The crew began to set up lifeboats. Meanwhile, the passengers were finishing dinner and relaxing because while the passengers were, because like it was just like a chill mood because like nobody was really in a rush to get on the lifeboats and everything. People were just finishing up what they were doing. Um, finishing dinner and relaxing. Boat one was lowered at 9:54 with 10 people in it. At 10:01, the first flare, the first flare was launched and spotted and spotted by the RMS Cedric of the White Star Line. She started steaming over quick. Boat 2 was lowered at 10.02 p.m. with 10 people in it. By now, the quartermasters were off the ship, so the quartermasters each commanded the standard lifeboats um, with 10 people in it. By now, the quartermasters were off the ship. As the lounge was flooding and the water was seconds away from flooding onto the boat deck, boat 3 was lowered with 3 people in it. Um, it could hold 5, but 2 people weren't in it. Um, because by now the seas were picking up and people were not willing to get in the small lifeboats because it was a collapsible one. The, it was like really literally like stubby lifeboat um including the chief officers it was only the captain the captain's the only deck crew left on board the ship this happened at 10 5 p.m the final boat was getting was getting prepared to was getting prepared when water surged onto the boat deck luckily the cover was off and the boat was not attached to any ropes yet she floated away and the final and, and the final people got in they all watched as the as the power went out at 10.07 p.m. and she slipped beneath the waves almost vertical at 10.08 p.m. 30 minutes later, the RMS Cedric came and picked up the survivors. And after the sinking. After the sinking, an inquiry was held in London after the passengers arrived there. It was ruled an act of God as there were ice warnings given to the Chevy and precautionary measures were taken. In the end, only one person died during the sinking, Chief um, Chief Engineer Charlie B., who died, for, who died after a piece of heavy machinery fell on top of him as he was leaving the pump room. There you go. That is the story of the SS Chevy from Roblox. I just eh, might as well make a story out of it. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.